In Virginia, Fairfax County police spent hours today pouring over the crash scene where a teenage driver was killed and her three passengers were critically hurt. We are also learning more about the victims and how this crash is now affecting people in the Burke and the Robinson High School community. The crash happened Tuesday night on Burke Center Parkway. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey has the latest. Women from a nearby church singing and praying near the crash site where a 17-year-old girl was killed and three teen boys, including her brother, were critically injured Tuesday night. The location now marked with hundreds of flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals. Earlier in the afternoon, it was Fairfax County police on the scene conducting an extensive crash reconstruction investigation on Burke Center Parkway. Marking and measuring the spot where the teen's car was struck by a man driving a Cadillac as they started to turn left out of a shopping center parking lot. Police even using a drone overhead to make sure they documented it all. Uh, we're all getting out here together to make sure we come out and take a look at the scene um, in the daytime just to make sure we're getting more accurate measurements, take additional photos, and just make sure there's no evidence or anything that might have been missed the night of. It was Tuesday night around 9 when the car carrying the teens was struck and burst into flames. We blurred the video because of its graphic nature. We're learning more about the young woman, the driver who was killed in a fundraising post written by her father. Rebecca Zarco, or Becca as she was known, had just graduated from Robinson High School and was set to study engineering in the fall at George Mason. She was a talented pianist, writes her father. The legacy of this extraordinary young woman will live on through the music she played, the joy she brought, and the love she shared with all who were fortunate enough to know her. Her brother David and two of his friends remain in the ICU. We spoke to one boy's father today who says he wants to see speed cameras installed here. This family friend spoke to witnesses who say they saw the Cadillac driving fast just before the crash. You know, so sometimes you say, oh, that guy is, you know, flying. And then she says, yeah, to call her attention because she was waiting for, you know, for, for her turn. Like so many who know the victims, she's hoping all of them will recover. I'm still praying. I'm still waiting for miracles, not just for him, for, for all of them. All of the evidence gathered here today and through other means will have to be analyzed first before any decision is made about whether criminal charges will be filed. In Burke, Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. So much heartbreak. A recent Robinson High School graduate who played soccer with one of the victims also set up an online fundraiser. It's already raised more than $17,000. Fairfax County Police are planning special traffic enforcement in that area next week.